Psalm 91, safety of abiding in the presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Let's reflect on this psalm of protection. It offers a profound sense of security and trust in God's shelter. As you reflect on this psalm, consider the imagery it presents. Verses 1 to 2, the psalm begins with a declaration of trust in God as a refuge and fortress. Reflect on the times when you have found refuge in God during life's challenges. Take a moment to express your gratitude for this secure foundation. Verses 3 to 6, the imagery of God as a shield and protector paints a picture of his constant care. Think about the times you felt shielded from harm, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Thank God for his ongoing protection. Verses 7 to 10, these verses remind us that God is with us and we can withstand any adversity. Let's reflect on moments where we have overcome difficulties with God's help and let's pray for the strength to endure future challenges. Verses 11 to 12, angels are described as watching over us. Consider the times where you have felt an unseen presence guiding and guarding you. Express your gratitude for these divine messengers. Verses 13 to 16, the psalm concludes with God's promise of deliverance, long life and salvation. Reflect on the assurance of God's faithfulness and eternal love. Pray for a deepening of your trust in His unwavering care. Gracious and loving God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the refuge and fortress you provide. In times of uncertainty and fear, we trust in your steadfast protection and we reflect on Psalm 91. We acknowledge the countless moments when you have shielded us from harm and guided us through adversity. Lord, we offer this prayer in the name of Jesus knowing that you are our ultimate refuge and protector. Amen. Now take a moment to sit in silence, meditating on the words of this prayer in Psalm 91, allowing the peace and the assurance of God's protection to fill your hearts.